Are you generating plenty of leads from your marketing materials right now? Getting plenty of recruits, team members, making sales? If you like to improve that, it's kind of like, nah, not so much, then definitely pay attention to these tips of running a successful marketing campaign for your network marketing business. And before I do that, grab a pen and paper to take notes on this. I want to invite you to a webinar, which is a really big scoop for me. Don't let me down on this, right? I've added $8,000 in the first 25 days of applying a particular tactic to my business. And this works from scratch, any ability level. It isn't a business opportunity or you know na native to a particular company or anything like that. I just invested in some training. I've applied that training, got these results, and I said, man, I'm onto something here. I'm seeing lots of other people get success with this. Will the gentleman who taught me, I said, will you come and teach my audience? I mean, imagine an extra 8,000 in your pocket in the next month. It's, it's, it's life-changing money for a lot of people. I remember it would be for me a few years ago. He said, yeah, I'll do it, but one time only. So there will be no replay. There'll be no repeat of this. It's, it's good of him to invest his time as it is. So get word out there, richardmathu.com forward slash 8K. Definitely want to attend that so you can take that blueprint, put it into your own business. I have done for me and many others are already getting some fantastic results. So I will see you on that training. Okay, so let's look at running successful marketing campaigns. First and foremost, have you got one clear, definable goal for the marketing that you do? I, I, when I, I coach a lot of people in marketing, and a lot of times I say, okay, what was the point in this social media campaign? Or what was the point in this leaflet drop? Or what was the point in this speech, this elevator speech that you did? Well, I, I might get some engagement, maybe an appointment, maybe someone will buy the business, maybe someone will buy the product. I'm like, scratch that. You need one clear, definable result that you're hoping to achieve. See, because then you can reverse engineer it. Think about this process and feel free to write these questions down. Let's say your goal was you wanted to sell more of a particular product. That's your goal. So you can then ask yourself the question, what would I need to do to have someone buy that product? Well, they'd have to perceive more value and benefit for the financial investment. Well, how could I show them the benefits and what would those benefits likely be? How could I compare the pricing and the cost to not taking action with that? And you can start to work this backwards. Particular benefits for a particular group. What particular group should you target? What would the front-end advert look like for that? What would the elevator speech be? You can start to actually put a much smarter, clearly definable process in place by simply knowing what your end result will be and sticking to one task. Second of all, if you want fast results, Here's a really important lesson, this is really valuable. Study people like myself. Study people in your industry who are creating results and success. See, not only am I teaching you something through this video, the fact of the process that I'm putting you through is also a big, big clue as to how I'm building success. I'll openly, I'm, open, I'm an open book in my business, okay? You can ask me anything. So take a look at the process that I put people through. What do I send somebody when they opt into something? What do I ask them to opt in for? What value do I share? What is the frequency of what I do? What is the style of what I do? Take a look at what I'm actually doing, not just the actual lessons within the, you know, the lesson within the lesson. And those are really, really important. If you want fast results, one of the quickest way you can do that is pick apart somebody's business and apply your own personality on top of that so you can make that actual process and framework your own. Very, very, it's a high-end tip that, but definitely a simple one that you can do. Uh, finally, you also need to make sure that you remain focused and have faith and follow through on what you do in terms of habits. So many, I mean, this is a powerful sentence. Do you right now have the habits of someone deserving of the results that you say you want? I'll repeat that. Right now, do you have the habits of someone who is deserving of the results that you say you want? So many people say, oh, I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm going to impact the world. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. My network marketing business is going to have hundreds of thousands of people in. I'm like, cool. How many people do you speak to today? Well, today's been kind of busy. I've got a little bit of a cold. I'm like, really? If you were a million dollar earner, is that the attitude you would bring to the day? Well, no. Well, what would you do if you were already earning a million in your company? Well, I guess I would get up a little early. I'd be more productive. I wouldn't do this, but I would do that. Well, good. You already know those things. So let's start to do them because you're not doing them and expecting a miracle. It's the success isn't going to drop on your lap. So if you are not achieving the results you want, there is something incorrect with your daily habits. If you need better daily habits, think what they would be and start to implement them. So I hope those three areas have really helped you. I will see you on that richardmathrew.com forward slash 8k webinar. Feel free to share this around. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.